hi in this session we will discuss about the decision boundaries we are getting using the logistic regression based upon the given hypothesis function in the uh, logistic regression so here uh, we are going to use the binary class classification data set so the given function is theta 0 plus theta 1 x1 plus theta 2 x2 which is the uh, linear data set because here our uh, the degree of uh, x1 and x2 is 1 so the given data set is linear form so here uh, the data set will be classified into either class a or class b by applying the sigmoid function over this given hypothesis function the sigmoid function is 1 over 1 plus e power minus g g is here theta 0 plus theta 1 x1 plus theta 2 x2 so when you are uh, giving the random values for theta 0 theta 1 theta 2 our equation will become here minus 3 is the theta 0 then x1 theta 1 into x1 is 1 into x1 uh, plus theta 2 is here 1 into x2 so x2 so we have to predict the value by using this equation yes uh, 1 whenever the value is greater than or equal to 0 0.5 so here how do we find the best parameter theta value here but the theta is used to find out the uh, slope for this decision boundary based upon that it will draw the decision boundary like this sometimes the decision boundary may be in this direction sometimes the decision boundary may be in this direction so it depends upon the parameter value the slope will be set into the different directions so which is not uh, defining the training data set the training data set may be used to find the uh, par parameter values theta not to define the decision boundary and one more uh, uh, decision boundary here look at that here our decision boundary is the straight line for the linear data set suppose if our data set is the non-linear then we cannot use the straight line you look at that our data set is represented in non-linear format so here if you use the, uh, the straight line uh, decision boundary it cannot classify the given data set uh, correctly you look at that here also uh, red color data points are there here also triangle data points are there there is the misclassification data uh, very much so to avoid this we will go for the nonlinear decision boundary for the nonlinear data set so for this the given equation that hypothesis function is having different degree to the features you look at that x1 is having degree 1 here and here we, we are having the degree 2 so the uh, hypothesis function which is having the polynomial features if there is a polynomial features then our data set is the nonlinear format so in this case we will get different decision boundary other than straight line so here uh, when you are substituting the values for theta 0 theta 1 etc so here uh, you will get minus 1 x1 square plus x2 square so here theta 2 theta 1 is 0 so these two terms will become 0 these three, uh, two terms are becoming x1 square plus x2 square so when you are expanding this you will get x1 square plus x2 square equal to 1 so this is the circle equation so we got the decision boundary in the form of circle so this is the circle when you are looking from the top view of the given plot you will get this data set uh, is uh, classified as class a this one is the classify b so few samples are belonging to the class b few samples belonging to the class a so here we are using uh, the polynomial features which is representing the nonlinear data set which is using complex boundaries and here you look at that another one nonlinear data set in this example which is having the hypothesis function theta 3 x1 square theta 4 x1 square multiply with x2 and theta 5 x1 square x2 square theta 6 into x1 cube into x2 so different uh, uh, 
complex uh, hypothesis function is given in the data set, which is a uh, nonlinear data set. In this case, we are getting the decision boundary, which is not having any fixed shape. You look at this. So we cannot name this uh, shape. So these lines are predicting the uh, uh, given data set into two classes, but it is predicting exactly with more accuracy. So this is also one of the decision boundary by using the complex boundaries uh, based upon the given hypothesis function. Thanks for watching.